Hello, my name is Brenda Hayward. This video will highlight some of the things for you as a new creator or current creator to think about as you move forward with your career. This video highlights things to know about the dangers and milestones on your YouTube journey, which can be helpful and added to your need to know list. Creators, I hope you bought your notebook and pencil. Just a little about me. I am a person who enjoys food. However, I cannot mention my favorite restaurants. One of my favorite foods is cheesecake. Number one, performing as yourself. Have you decided on performing in your videos yourself? If so, let you know individuals also use faceless YouTube videos. The information is out there if that is also a direction you thought about. Keep remembering there's more than one way to perform viewers and the same type of information you love. Number two, possibility of channel deletion. Are you aware that there are ways that a creator can get their YouTube channel deleted? One of the ways you could get your channel deleted is called tag stuffing, in which creators place excessive tags in the video description. The tags for the videos should be placed upon uploading of the video rather than in the description block, which YouTube believes you as a creator are misleading potential viewers. Another one is called metadata, which is using other popular celebrity creators channel within your video that has nothing to do with your content. Metadata is included in all videos that are created. It contains the name, location, the date of the upload and the camera ID. Another way is called spamming. Through the comments section, the videos, other creators can try to get other views to leave one channel for another. YouTube does not approve any spam or scams that take advantage of your YouTube community. So when violations happen after reviewing the situation, they can terminate the creator's channel. The last one, do you not use copyrighted material from other videos or music that has not been approved by the vendor or paid to the vendor by you? Number three, software production. Have you decided on the types of software you may need to think about as a creator to produce videos? I know you have looked at many videos and they seem like whoever put the video together did not find one software package in which you can get everything done in one place. However, I am not software savvy some softwares give you 30 days for free trials and others give you straight up minimum monthly fee. So make a list of the steps you need to complete from filming, editing, and uploading your video to YouTube. If you have not done this before, please make sure the software you may purchase is a beginner friendly. Think about what software you will do for you, like recording, editing, thumbnails, and making your banner. YouTube is a best record of knowledge. Please do your research and think about what you can afford right now with software costs. Number four, have you thought about how you will set up your new creator account on YouTube? I can assist, however, there are many videos that explain the process from when you are just a beginner to what changes in your YouTube account must happen once you get monetized. Please do your research. On the YouTube platform, you have the ability to research other channels so you can see if the area you are trying to pursue is growing. This I will say, if you go to your YouTube website and type in the, your idea, for example, growth strategies, in the search bar, then below it, you can click on the filter button and click the last month. 
the YouTube website will show you what videos are within the last month in your areas you explain on producing and what other creators are doing. For example, you can see how many views the videos got to assist you in determining if the field you plan on entering has a viewer following. Five, major milestones. Have you reviewed major milestones in YouTube that are required for new creators to meet before they become monetized? I think monetization is the forefront of all creators' minds. However, hard work still must be done to reach viewers for your channel. This information may change your on YouTube at any time. And this information is what I, as a creator, found as of January 2023. One of the first major milestones is gathering a total of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 publicly watch hours from viewers. Just to let you know, live streaming requirements are different from video requirements. Number six, have you viewed other videos and after you read the comments, got an idea of why viewers viewed the video content? Were you able to answer some of the questions the viewers may have asked of themselves? However, as a creator, those thoughts should help you add or make similar adjustments to channel production. A few questions could be, why did I viewer click on this video? Why did I as a viewer watch part or all of the video? What information as a viewer was important to me and understandable? Why should I as a viewer watch it again? The answers to these questions should assist new creators in meeting their growth goals. Please let me know if you like this video by clicking on the thumbs up or by leaving the comments. I shared and hope you will share your comments and subscribe. Also, if you have time, check out some of my other videos that may answer a few of your other questions you may have. My name is Brenda Hayward, and thanks for your time.